Greeting everyone, now we are no longer stalked by the coronavirus but are still in danger of facing climate change. In this speech, I want to define some point. First is the definition, second is the problem, and the last is what the alternative solution. So, what is the climate change? Climate change refers to the long-term alteration of temperatures and typical weather pattern in a place. It's important to pay attention to climate change because of its significant impact on our environment and daily life. The Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change said that the increase in the global temperatures had reached 1.1 degrees Celsius compared to the pre-industrial era and is expected to continue to increase until it reached 1.5 degrees Celsius in 2040. This is very concerning because the increase in global temperatures can cause many natural disasters such as forest fires, drugs, and rising sea level which can threaten the survival of humans and other living things. According to the 2021 on Global Climate Risk Index report by World Bank, Indonesia is ranked 5 out of 181 countries as the country most vulnerable to the impact of climate change. The price of climate change that we must pay is the million of hectares of Indonesian forests go up in smoke. More than 900,000 hectares of forests and lands were burned in 2015. Regarding the point I delivered, we must ask, what caused the temperatures to rise? One of them is the waste problem. Our house has become clean because we have thrown away the trash into the trash bin. But it doesn't stop there. The waste we throw out will end up in a landfill, pile up and create a new problem that unknowingly affects our aspect of life, such as health and the economy. The waste problem may seem trivial at first glance, but we lose many lives because of it. The World Health Organization declares in 2006 that preventable environmental factors cause 13 million deaths yearly. One of the ecological factors closest to us is the family, which contribute 37% of the total waste. And the last question is, how can we solve the problem? Sort and manage the waste can become the solution. The accumulating of waste produce a lot of methane, which has a greater impact on global warming than carbon dioxide. If methane production continues to increase, it will contribute to global warming. My friends and I conducted an educational campaign collaboration with Zero Waste Indonesia from 2020 for homemakers in a village to sort their waste and provide composting training. We facilitated the necessary equipment to ensure that the village homemakers would compost their waste from bucket to the required bacteria. The method used in this training was made simple with easy to understand explanation so that it can be implemented. This training was crucial and helped raise community awareness about the importance of prosper waste management. It can help to reduce the negative impact of landfills and improve the soil quality in the village. In addition to environmental and social benefits, this activity has a positive economic impact. The village homemakers can reduce the expenses for buying expensive chemical fertilizer by producing organic fertilizers. We can compost organic waste about 70% of its destruction by sorting waste. This waste reduction can save up to 18 billion rupiah daily in government funds for transporting waste to landfills. Beside it, it also reduces carbon emission produced by its waste transport process. With this explanation, sorting and composting waste can be excellent alternative to reduce the harmful effect of the climate change. Simple activities like this can significantly impact improving the environment for all of us. That's all my speech about climate change. I am Folika Sinci, the most outstanding student from IPB University. I invite all of you to contribute together to keeping this earth sustainable and comfortable to live in. Remember, we don't have another planet to live, but we can choose to protect our earth better. Thank you.